Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OracleTechsHomePage.com as well as the OracleTechsHomePage.com app. And let's begin with a look at uh, the latest on burn bans. And you can see much of the area still has uh, a ban on outdoor burning. The latest addition today, Morris County, uh, there in northeast Texas. So if your county or parish is red, as far as we know, you are currently under a burn ban. Here's a look at the weather pattern across the country, and you can see that we still have upper level high pressure across the southern half of the country. Uh, notice uh, the beginnings of a trough trying to develop uh, across the north. That is going to dive itself southward and eastward here in the coming days and eventually usher a front into the Oracle Text here moving forward. You see that kind of taking place here as we put this particular uh, uh, model showing you the weather pattern. You can see a little weakness here uh, developing right across the uh, southern plains and lower Mississippi Valley. This is what's going to give us the chance for the shower and thunderstorm that will begin northern sections of the area Wednesday. And then we'll see a continuing chance of rain pretty much each and every day into the first of next week. And it looks like we could see a decent amount of rainfall as well. Here's one model's depiction of rainfall from now through next Monday and you can see that uh, much of the area seeing good to actually all of the area good one to two inches of rainfall uh, could have a few locations that see an excess of uh, two inches I wouldn't be surprised to hear about an isolated three inch amount and keep in mind August is typically our driest month this would probably would account for about half almost half of what is normal uh, for much of the area with um, the weather that we anticipate here during the next week. Let's talk about the next few days here at Robin Sawyer Future Cast. You can see the uh, uh, scattered pop-up stuff that we have experienced over the last couple of days. The uh, Today's version of that will fall apart as we go through the evening hours. Tomorrow, or I should say tonight, expect a mostly clear sky across most of the area. And then tomorrow we'll see once again slight chance for the stray shower and thunderstorm. Notice a bit more in terms of showers and thunderstorms storms to our north, northern Arkansas, eastern Oklahoma, extending to the southwest into northwest Texas. That activity is going to try to work its way southward into the northern sections of our area tomorrow night. And then Wednesday, we'll see that mix of clouds and sunshine. Best shot for those showers and thunderstorms will be basically along and northwest of Interstate 30. But keep in mind, all this activity you see here is gradually going to develop more and more towards the south and east uh, as we move into Thursday, Friday, and again, the weekend and first part of next week. So all in all, looks like uh, uh, looking at uh, a bit of a change now with a pattern after a hot and humid uh, day tomorrow. You can see tonight looking at lows above normal in the mid 70, 75 in Shreveport, 75 also in Atlanta, 75 in Hope. Daytime highs tomorrow should rebound back up into the uh, mid to upper 90s. 99 in Mount Pleasant, 98 in Atlanta, 97 in Shreveport, 96 for the high temperature tomorrow in Texarkana. So your seven-day forecast starts off the Shreveport, showing you the drop-off in temperatures because of the clouds and rain as highs will eventually settle into the mid to upper 80s to low 90s. Overnight lows will basically stay in the low to middle 70s as, again, best rainfall chances for Shreveport probably hold off until Wednesday night into Thursday. For Texture Candy, you'll have a better shot sooner Wednesday, and uh, you can see that uh, your daytime highs 90 for Wednesday, and you'll stay in the 80s for highs for the rest of the week. Nighttime lows, for the most part, will eventually settle into the lower 70s. So all in all, it looks like uh, if you need some rain, and pretty much all of us do, got a good shot of seeing some here starting Wednesday across the northern sections of the area, and then all of us will have a good chance of rain as we move through the rest of the seven-day period.